Hello friends, good morning to you. It is Wednesday, my name is Laura, and I am going to do my skincare routine and my makeup routine, and we're just gonna chat. <laughs> um, just to let you know, I do not sell the products that I'm using on my face. Um, I just like to hang out with you while I'm putting on my makeup. I do it every day, so I thought I might as well do it on Facebook, and I just think that that's what Facebook is really all about, is just hanging out with your friends and doing your normal normal, right? It is finally um, sweater weather in Texas, and I love cozy sweaters, so I have one on today, and I can almost guarantee you I will probably, oh, I should probably go turn that off. Um, my washing machine is going to make some rumbles. Let me know if um, you hear the washer and it's annoying and I'll go turn it off. But um, yeah, I'll probably more than likely have a hot flash while I'm doing this because, you know, I do that all the time. <laughs> and in sweaters, it happens way more often. Okay, so the very first thing that I do, well, very first thing that I do is in the shower, I wash my face with the 4-in-1 cleanser. And um, I love it, but it, you know, doesn't get every single bit off. Like, this is eye makeup remover, so it will take every little bit off. <laughs> so how are you today? Happy Wednesday to you. And let's see. See, I mean, it takes it all off. <laughs> so that's why I use that the second time. And then I go in after the eye makeup remover, I go in with the 4-in-1 cleanser again. The 4-in-1 cleanser that I use, um, I don't sell any of these products, but I can certainly hook you up with somebody that does. <laughs> I know a lot of Mary Kay consultants, and they're fabulous. Um, I live in the Dallas area, and Dallas is where Mary Kay is um, located, like the warehouse, so that's where Mary Kay Ash lived, yeah. So, um, yeah, there's lots of gorgeous women around me that can uh, get you what you need but okay so I use the 4-in-1 cleanser twice I use the gel in the shower because it lathers up and then I use this cream um, after the shower basically just to get anything that didn't come off in my quick rub-a-dub scrub-a-dub in the shower right um, but also because I just put that oil-free makeup remover on my skin and so I think maybe I should just clean it off <laughs> right oh and it smells so good and fresh if you have not tried this yet you might want to I'm hooked anyway you all know that I'm hooked okay then I just take a wash rag and I dip it in water I have a little bowl of water right here that is now cold because did you see my post earlier about um, not being able to find a headband, a cute headband for my for these lives. Yeah, I've been looking for weeks. Weeks and weeks and could not find a single one. I mean, I don't really go to a whole bunch of places, you know, stores. And it's not like I like ran around town just looking for a headband. But you know, when I'm out and about and shopping at various places, I have been going on to that aisle to see if I could find something and I have found a few but not not ones that I absolutely love so I decided you know <laughs> I'm gonna see if I have some cute fabric and sure enough I had the animal print and I just love finding awesome um, fabric like stashed in a drawer that I haven't seen in years and years and years. Do you guys do that? I'm such a pack rat. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so yeah, so I ended up making this. I'm like, I found the fabric. The water was already in the bowl, nice and hot, ready for me. And I'm like, I'm going to make it real quick. So I whipped out my sewing machine <laughs> and I made it. And it's cute, isn't it? I love it so much and it's stretchy. I actually used one of the little bands that I bought at Kroger. Um, it was just like a cheap little, it was like $2 for one of those stretchy bands. Um, 
And so what I did is I actually sewed it into this so that it's stretchy, so that it will stay. Isn't that cute? Anyway, that's what I did. Okay, so now that my face is clean, I'm going to go in. I just finished my last bottle of this. So this is the Firming Eye Cream, and I love it so much. I am um, over 50, so eye cream is like super important. I think it's important for every age. I don't remember when I started using eye cream, but I'm sure I could have started even earlier. <laughs> I know that I started using Mary Kay when I was 18. My sister was selling it and she actually, she did a really good job in um, Mary Kay. I was surprised when she stopped um, but I think it got to a point for her where it was either choose her job or Mary Kay because Mary Kay was getting so busy or whatever and she decided to choose her job instead. And, and I was like bummed because I had to go find a new Mary Kay consultant. And by then I was so addicted to it that there was no way to stop, right? So, um, but yeah, I've been using this forever and ever and ever. And God bless Mary Kay Ash when she realized that she had something that she could like empower women with. And um, yeah, she even somebody like me that doesn't sell it, I still feel empowered because it's a fantastic product. I know that I'm helping like my local friends, the local Mary Kay ladies when I'm buying it. And um, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I can get it at a discount because my husband is a Mary Kay consultant, but I have to make like a huge order to do that. So I don't do that very often. Instead, I just call the most, oh, hello, Donna. How are you, honey bunny? How have you been? I haven't seen you in a year. <laughs> How have you been? What have you been up to? Okay, so I put my, um, my eye firming cream on and now I'm going to use two different um, day creams. This is part of the Age Minimizing 3D set, right? And the day cream actually has like an SPF in it. And so I put, hi Brandy, how are you, honey? Oh, I'm so glad that you're hanging out. You girls are hanging out this morning. Um, yeah, so I put the day cream on my decollete and that is because it has that SPF. Um, and then I put the night cream, which I know that's a little different than what most people do. Most people would just use the day cream all over their face and, and their decollete in the daytime and then use the night cream at night, right? But I already have SPF in my foundation and I love the way it sets on my foundation and everything. So I just use the night cream for my face <laughs> and once again it smells divine it is light thin almost not too thin not like a retinol or anything like that it doesn't have anything like that in there um, it's just like the perfect weight it's not heavy in any way it's not gonna make my foundation feel thick or greasy or anything like that right it's just like the perfect amount of moisture and it's I'm just putting like little dots on like maybe three or four different um, areas my forehead my cheeks my chin and oh I feel so fresh and totally ready for makeup now okay so um I went to one of the Mary Kay parties here on Facebook um, two weeks ago and uh, one of my wonderful, beautiful friends invited me to a Mary Kay party. And um, that Mary Kay consultant actually introduced me to this charcoal mask. Amazing. Amazing. And if you have not seen that funny charcoal mask video, um, you can find it. I'm uploading all of these to YouTube because I have to get at least 100 uh, videos on YouTube before I can go live on YouTube. And that's the the goal right so um go find that it's hilarious because yeah it's a little scary at first because i have a charcoal mask on to start but um yeah it's hilarious okay 
Now we're ready for makeup. So before I put on my um, foundation, I always want to put on a foundation primer. And I don't know how I lived without this stuff for years and years. I've been using foundation, not kidding you ladies, for, well, I don't even want to count the years, since I was in sixth grade. <laughs> and um, just recently, like maybe four or five years ago, I found this foundation uh, primer and it makes it feels like silk going on and it makes your foundation just go on so much more even you know um, if you don't if you've never tried a foundation primer before your foundation try it just once and you will love it okay so what are we doing today anybody have any plans for the oh I almost forgot my forehead um Logan has baseball tonight um in Plano that's gonna be fun and we pretty much have nothing else to do all day long <laughs> I don't go out to Plano very often Plano is about 40 minutes away from our house and um I used to go there every single day. Are you still? Yes, I am, Donna. I certainly am. Yeah, you'll see my lives right here on my timeline. Come hang out with me. Fun stuff. And in all the um, groups, too, I'm sure. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, okay, foundation. Oh, no, I was telling you about Plano. So Plano is about 40 minutes away from us. And when I first moved here, there was nothing near this little lake community that I live in. Nothing at all. <laughs> and um, so one of the times that I had visited before I moved, uh, my sister had brought me to one of the malls. We were just shopping. Okay, so now I'm putting on my foundation with my kabuki brush. And I have my mirror right here so I can see better, so I can get it on even. And uh, so she's driving me around, and we pass this huge building on our way back from the mall. And um, it says Lifetime on the side of it in big, like, square letters, right? And I was like, oh, my gosh, what a beautiful, that looks like a brand new building. And everything in Texas has, like, it's like set in the back and there's all this beautiful landscaping around each building. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but anyway, so, and that was new for me too. So I'm like, Oh, what a beautiful building. What is that? Is that like the lifetime magazine? Do you girls remember lifetime magazine? Um, I don't even know if they still make that, but I thought it was, it was like a health and fitness magazine. I thought that was like the headquarters for, um, that magazine and she's like no that's a gym and I'm like it's a gym she goes oh it's exclusive I'll, I'll pull around the side and you can see you know it a little closer I'm like okay cool so we pulled up alongside and there were all these like um, there was a pool outside and there were I mean so many amenities for the kids you would think it was like a mini water park right and I'm like oh my gosh that is amazing do you have you ever been inside and she's like no no not really I'm like okay so and I didn't think much about it after that so um flash forward a couple of years and um there was no gym around us still because <laughs> this town was so small and it was just on a lake right the lake was like the thing so I guess there was no need for Starbucks and all that kind of stuff back then it's like 15 years ago. So um, I decide, okay, it's time to join a gym. And the only gym I had ever seen was this lifetime gym. So um, I drove to it. When was that? Well, Logan was born. So that was about 12 years ago. So yeah, it was about four years into me living here in Texas. And um, so Logan and I drove there, and I think one of the perks, the reason why I was like, I'm going to join a gym, 
was so that Logan could um, have that, that water park to play in. He was just a little guy. Um, he needed to learn how to swim, so I needed to do swimming lessons anyway, and, and they offered it. And so I was like, yeah, and they have an indoor pool too. So I was like, yeah, okay, so we're going to join that gym. He's going to learn how to swim. I'm going to enjoy that pool outside, <laughs> right, with the cabana and the cabana boys. I'm just kidding. No, the cabana with, and they even serve like wine and stuff like that. So out by the pool. So it's like a little mini vacation whenever you go to the gym. <laughs> anyway, so we signed up and... We were going there and we were pretty obsessed with being there every single day, all summer, all day, every day that whole summer for sure. And then even when the weather started get a, getting a little cooler, we had found, I mean, it has a cafe on the inside. So we found that that was like our favorite place to eat lunch because they would make like really healthy stuff. And, um, yeah, that was like our home away from home. I literally, at one point or another, and you know, you meet friends if you go very often um, at the same time. You meet, you end up working out next to the same people. <laughs> so you meet people and, you know, we had like a little group of friends that we would go and see. So I would go there all the time. Now this is in Plano and it's like 40 minutes from my house. So we literally would be on the road for two hours a day spend about six hours a day at the gym doing all those things. There was a beauty salon. There's a beauty salon in there too. So, I mean, pretty much, and a daycare and rock climbing. So when he started getting older, he would do like the rock climbing in the gym, uh, basketball courts or whatever. Okay, always wash your brush when you're done. So I'm gonna set this aside. That was my foundation and now I feel moisturized and I feel um, just like a, a clean slate palette and yep here comes my first hot flash <laughs> tell me if the background noise is annoying that worries me because every once in a while I'll look back on a video and I'll be like all I could hear is my dryer <laughs> so I'll turn it off if it's annoying anyway so blush a touch of the bright summery color, a touch of the fall color, and I really should just stop the summery color. It's time to just do fall because, yeah, it's getting chilly out. So is anybody else's weather changing at all? I love the fall. I really do because, well, because it's super humid in Texas. <laughs> like, it's actually humid today, but it's cool, which is an odd combination, right? Um, but at least it's cool. <laughs> and that humidity will go away in just a couple of weeks, I'm praying. So I just put my blush, I start all the way back by my hairline, kind of tucked in by my ear, and then I kind of work it forward so that most of it, like it, it kind of contours better that way. I've learned this just by watching tutorials, watching people, um, being a manicurist for the last 20 years. I'm retired now, but um, you know, spending all that time with estheticians and makeup artists and stuff like that, I've learned all these little tricks. So I'm sharing them with you. Okay, and then wash your brush for that. And then we do powder. Okay, so I do powder a little differently than I think a lot of people. I mean, I don't know. You tell me if you do it this way. First, I'm using a translucent powder, which is clear. It looks white, but it's actually, it goes on clear, and you'll see. So I use a little sponge, a little sponge applicator, and I hit my T-zones because it soaks it all up. Not that I'm greasy in any way, but your T-zone is always, well, mine is, if you have combination skin or oily skin, and I'm a combo girl, um, is always just a little more moist than the rest of my face. So I do my chin, I do my nose, and then I do the lower part center of my forehead, just like this. And by patting it in, 
It seems like it would be cakey, but it's not, and I'll show you why, why it doesn't get that way. So that was that. And then we're going to use a big brush, pick up just a little bit more. Do you see, I haven't even touched this. I'm just using everything out of my cap, you know? Um, so it doesn't take much at all. And then you just brush it on from the top of your face down. And that kind of blends in the blush so that it's not so prominent, right? And it also um, takes off any little extras that I had put on my T-zone, right? So, yeah, so we're, dri we're driving out to Plano today. Um, and it's only 40 minutes away, but I'm super excited and I know we're going to pass that lifetime. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is a eye primer foundation. Do you girls have any place that you go to that you're like, you don't even care if it's a long drive, you've just got to be there. So, I, I, um primer for your eyeshadow and your eyebrows because I'm gonna brow and I'm gonna pencil in my brows and they're very crooked anyway I used to actually have this one lifted by a magician <laughs> very often um, but I don't do that anymore so I'm just trying to work with what God gave me Okay, so then the next thing that I wanna do is, let's see, we'll do my eyebrows. Let's do my lips first. Lip liner first, and then I'll try to remember to put on lipstick. I always forget to do that on camera. I don't know why. As soon as I shut everything off, I'm like, oh, I need my lipstick. <laughs> so I'll do uh, liner and then lipstick. So yeah, um, from what I hear, they're going to build another lifetime, or they might have already completed it, extra close to me, but on the in the opposite direction from the highway. So instead of getting on the highway and turning, you know, to go south, I would be going north. And so I never ever go north. So I probably will never even see it, even though it's closer to me. <laughs> we go now I have lips yay okay um, and I have this cute little I don't use this all the time but I love it this is actually a Chanel color um, and it's the kind that you twist up right and it's like silk it goes on like silk and so you just need a touch of it Touch, touch, maybe a couple of touches. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then twist it back down. And put it back on. I love Chanel products too. Those are just as addicting. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrow pencil. And I always draw these on crooked, and you girls are so amazing. Nobody ever calls me out on it. I have been really good, Donna. How have you been? What have you been up to? Anything new in your life in the last year? Okay, and I just pencil it in. I try to follow the line, and I've done a lot. I've seen a lot of tutorials. Isn't that amazing how it's just such a difference? <laughs> um, it just like 
makes my eyes look, I don't know, brighter or something. But um, I've seen a lot of tutorials where they say to not do the downward, like to just go up to your, your highest point and just stop like right there. But I always do the downward. The reason why they say to not do the downward is because apparently it makes you look sad, you know, like your eyes sad or drawn down or something. Oh my goodness. Had, oh my goodness. Ah, is that the bad kind or the good kind? I mean, not that there's ever a good kind of cancer, but that's never fun. I'm so sorry you've had to go through that in the last year, but you're recovering well. Are you still in the hospital, honey? Let us know. We will pray for you. That is another thing that I absolutely love about Facebook. Um, you can feel completely alone, maybe not, you know, be a very an introverted person and um, sign on to Facebook and you instantly have a whole group of friends, people that will love on you and make you laugh with their funny posts and last November oh, I'm so so glad that you got through it oh oh you didn't have to even go through treatment oh that is a blessing in itself oh my gosh you are so incredibly blessed because I know that that is extra tough right oh it's, it was the bad kind well bless you for being able to get through that without treatment because that's harsh I know um, do you know okay so one of the companies that I sent you you haven't seen me in a year so I'm gonna give you a little uh, update on what I've been doing Um, I did a little hiatus for paparazzi and now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow while, while I talk to you oh, and I just felt an eyelash in my eye okay so I did a little hiatus because Somebody up, up, up on my team was, was just making me feel awful about my business and how I was handling it and all this kind of stuff. And um, I'm not going to blame it on her. It was my decision. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to chill on this and um, maybe I'll be happier. Because, you know, we have to do things that make us happy. Um, and I... I quickly learned that I lost a lot of my happy because I wasn't hanging out with all my friends, right? So I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. I need to find something that everybody loves, right? Um, okay, I'm going to do a base first, and I think I'm going to go a little sparkly, um, but that isn't part of that team. And at the same time, um, some of my upline was amazing, and so I was starting to miss them too. So it was pretty insane. Um, uh, an emotional roller coaster is what that was. And, um, but you know, I always dive into my little crafts and my beading it took full force while I was on hiatus. Um, I became a beading like crazy person. Like I couldn't live without beads. I took a little thing of beads on to the airport with a little needle and they made me throw it away. <laughs> I was like, but that's how addicted I was. Why would why would I take beads on vacation? <laughs> but yeah, so I kind of dove into that. But I was really, really missing you girls. And so um, I happened upon um, Color Street for the second time. Um, the first time was just at a trade show. And I loved it when I tried it. But, um, you know, I'm a... I'm a licensed manicurist, so I, you know, I didn't really know what to think about it, and it wasn't until Audrey, do you know Audrey? She invited me to a party um, last month, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that stuff. Yes, click, I'll join that group, and um, yeah, so I ended up signing up with uh, Color Street, and if you've never heard of Color Street, oh my gosh, wait until you do. Um, I want to introduce you to it, so get with me in PM, and we can chat about it and I can bring I'll show you 
uh, I'll invite you to a, to a party that is ongoing and you'll see how much fun it is. It's just so fun. So you just let me know if that's something that you want to do. Okay, honey? <laughs> and that is my update. Actually, that was quicker than my usual long-winded um, explanations of everything. <laughs> I'm so long-winded. It's so funny. You know that um, voicemail feature that you can use on um, Messenger? Oh my gosh. I hit that voicemail more than I ever type out messages anymore because I'm so long-winded that the typing takes, you know, five times longer than me just hitting that button and, and talking in my real voice. Okay, so I've put a uh, purple plum, and I'm going definitely going to soften this, but on my upper lids, it's never perfect because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just playing makeup for the day um, so I can go run to the supermarket and then to baseball tonight. <laughs> and that's my life, right? Um, but just about halfway, because my eyes are a little older and I don't want to accentuate the hood of my eyes because they're starting to get that kind of like that little flappy thing. <laughs> I think that's called the hood. Oh, you know what? I, I, was, I was going through something, Donna. I'm sorry if you were one of the people that were. It was not personal in any way. It was just me trying to get a grip on my own realities. <laughs> so thank you for forgiving me. And I'm just so happy to see you again. Yeah. So um, I also put it down under my eyes. And the reason I do that is because my eyes are very round. And you might love round eyes, but I personally prefer when they look you know, a little less round. So do you see how that changed that completely? So I put it just on the bottom. And I know it looks like nighttime makeup right now. And, but you girls know, I don't do like, woo, makeup. I just try to accentuate the things and, and change the roundness of my eyes. And so the next thing that I'm going to do that's it for the eyeshadow, but I'm going to blend it with the bigger blending brush, right? And it's kind of like fluffy, right? So, and very lightly, I just brush the edges. I don't want to take it all off because I just put it on, but if, I, if you brush the edges, then it very much just softens the look. So it doesn't look like I'm, you know, going to the club, right? See the difference? Deep, soft. So that's how I blend it. Yeah. Yeah, that was a crazy year. And there is one thing, well, there's a few things that I learned from that. Um, one thing is open communication is so important. Um, I think that sometimes we, when, when we get into, and only, I only can say this because I've actually gone through it, when we get into those modes where we feel like everything is coming at us, we tend to like sink into ourselves. And if you're anything like me, I automatically raise a wall. And I'm like, um, and then everybody thinks, oh my gosh, she just disappeared. I haven't really. I was still like peeking around the wall, making sure that everybody was okay and sending out love and stuff like that, but kind of dealing with my own emotions at the same time. And I thought, and I still think that it's very important to just handle things the way you want to handle them. And if people are like judgy about it or whatever, then that's on them. Let them be judgy. But you know, that's the whole bless and block thing, right? Um, not that. I was blocking people for that reason. I was, some people. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to deal with this, but most people know. I was just like trying to put the wall up or whatever. Um, and then when it's, it's your time and you feel comfortable or whatever, you can come out again. 
the one thing that there's pros and cons to that. The one thing that is amazing about that is that you are tr being true to yourself and you're taking care of yourself the best way you know how and you deserve to be happy and not have to have like negativity around you if you don't want it around you, right? Um, negativity is like one of the worst things to do around me because um, I have a block finger. I like to block people that make me feel not good. So, um, you know, the negative Nancys. They used to call them negative Nellies. Now they're negative Nancys, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't allow that at all in my life. So why would I on Facebook, right? The con to that um, introversion is that you sever a lot of ties um, of, of people that might end up being very important in your life and so um, you know you kind of just have to have some sort of balance with that and um, I know that I have um, uh, not spoken to many people that I, I love um, for that reason I threw up that block wall and I was like mm -mm -mm. and if you remember my dad had just passed away right after I did that so I was an emotional wreck anyway like I didn't even know up from down day from night so that is how I deal with things <laughs> um, my lesson learned is there are other outlets um, your friends are there for a reason right yeah, no, no, you didn't do anything to hurt me, honey bunny. No, I love, I love you. And most people, I mean, if you notice, and I'm sure you've noticed this, um, all of my lives, I, there aren't a lot of negative people. It's because I block those people, hopefully sooner than you had to see it. Because not only are they trying to get to the person that's doing the live, which I don't understand people like that, to tell you the truth. But why do I need to, right? Just block them and let them be themselves and I don't have to deal with it. But they also affect my friends who are watching if they're reading those comments. And that is not okay with me. I am extremely protective of you. I don't want my friends' feelings hurt or to feel like that you have to, um, uh, uh, you know, stand up for me, you know, or whatever. That's not what Facebook is about for me. And I hope it's not what it's about for you, right? Yeah, so um, we come on to have a good time, to have a bunch of friends get together and just love on each other, have some fun. And when I bring these products to you, I do it with a lighthearted, fun um, motive. You know, like my passion is to make people feel great. It's why I did nails for as long as I did. That was my, my career um, that I did the longest in my life. I actually dabbled in a lot of things, but um, I, I did nails for so long. I, I own my little mini salon, and um, the best part of it, the reason why I had such a passion is because I got to make women feel pretty all day long. You know, and there is nothing better than making people that you care about feel good, right? So that's what all of these little things are all about for me. And um, I love the extra side, you know, money. The money's great too when you uh, are consistent with it. You know, you sign into these MLMs and a lot of people think that you can, it's gonna be like a windfall and that is not their fault. They are kind of programmed to think that because you see all these, these little like ads and commercials for um, join this and oh, look at me, I drive a Ferrari and I'm on vacation 300 days out of the year. That's not real. It might be real for them, but that's not the expectation that most people should have. But unfortunately, that's the expectation expectation that a lot of people do have when they join an MLM. They're like, this is going to be easy. Look at, look at how successful these people are. You know, it takes work. It takes dedication. It takes, um, uh, scheduling time, just like as if you were having like a nine to five, you have to schedule time for your business. Um, and you have to be consistent with it. And if you're not, then, um, it's not easy. It is not easy if you're not consistent. And if you don't have time to do it, 
you don't have to do it eight hours a day. Um, if you just want to pop into Facebook like two hours a day, you can do that too. But if you dedicate yourself to that two hours a day, be consistent. Dedicate yourself. Okay, so I put my eyeliner on, um, on the upper inside, and that is actually a very difficult thing to do if it's the very first time that you're doing it. Be very, very careful. Um, you can poke yourself in the eye, and I still do it, and I've been doing that for years, but the reason I do that is because it makes your eyelashes look thicker um, and without having to put um, eyeliner on the top of your lash. If I put eyeliner on the top of my lash line, it would make that roundness come out again, and I don't, I don't want the roundness, right? So I, my eyes are already too round. I want them to keep, stay like this. And then I put it on the inside of the lower. And now I'm just gonna finish off with my mascara. And they say to go to the very, very um, beginning of your eyelash and then pull up. But if I pulled up, I would hit the top of my eye and all that eyeshadow would get little mascara dots all over it. And that is why I blink I'm actually making my lashes put the mascara on instead of the wand from the mascara, <laughs> right? So always start and get as close to possible to the root of your lash and then brush up. And if you have super long eyelashes naturally, then you have to blink. And I definitely have been blessed with those long eyelashes. The older I get, the thinner they are. But um, yeah, they're still dang long. So I'm super happy about that. Saves me a ton in lashes, right? Did you girls see, <laughs> it was so funny. Did you girls see me try to try that uh, magnetic lash? I think that was last week. It was hilarious. Um, first of all, I am, because I've been working in the salon for as long as I have, um, <laughs> oh, okay, wait. I love watching the lives, but I can't buy anything because I'm on a fixed income and it takes everything I have to pay bills, so I like to play games. Would you care if I watch and play the games? That is exactly what I want you to do. Um, and you, actually, there's a great way to get the product. Um, I'll talk to you about it um, in PM, Donna, but um, yeah especially if you're on a fixed income. One of the things that really, really bothered me when um, paparazzi was huge for me, um, it was that um, a lot of people were losing their jobs at the time. And it was killing me that people were asking me, can you hold my product until I get my disability check or until I get my, my uh, unemployment check? I was like, and you're not supposed to judge in these businesses. You're not, okay? People get to spend their money however they want. But I just didn't feel like a good person knowing that they were spending money that they didn't have. And I didn't have in um, paparazzi, I did not have um, the party thing rolling. So I, I didn't know how to even switch over and switch gears that way. But the parties are how you get the product for free. It's just by introducing me to your friends. And then because um, you're hitting tiers um, of orders from your friends loving the product, as long as I'm doing a good job showing this product, then absolutely they're going to love it because I don't pick a product that isn't amazing that I wouldn't use myself, right? So, um, which is exactly what I have with the Color Street. How cute are these? And I put these on what, like uh, four days ago? Not a single nick, and I do dishes by hand. Okay, I know I'm probably the only person that does that, <laughs> but I do dishes by hand. I do not use my dishwasher so much so that my husband um, wants to replace our dishwasher with one of those wine um, refrigerators with like the glass 
window. And I keep telling him, we can't do that because if there's no dishwasher and we ever need to sell our house, because you never know what happens, right? Um, it, no one's going to buy a house that doesn't have a dishwasher in it, <laughs> right? But yeah, I don't do um, dishwashers at all. I do all of my dishes by hand. And um, this is four days in, not a single nick. This stuff is amazing. And I don't put anything over it. It's just the strips that I'm using. So um, better than polish. And I'm a manicurist. I can say that. This is actually better than like the liquid polish that you, um, that you that we have all been using for ever. Yeah. I found something for you girls that is amazing. And... You know that I usually have acrylics and long. That's because I'm a nail biter. Look at how long my nails are getting, girls. Like you can see the free edge over them. It keeps your nails protected. Okay, so I don't wanna to totally go into that, but I'm still loving this. Did you see that post? Okay, <laughs> I am done with my makeup. I love hanging out with you so much. I feel like I was in the middle of saying something. I was. And I forgot what it was. Oh, I'll put it on tomorrow's show. <laughs> I hope you come hang out with me tomorrow while we do uh, coffee and makeup. And um, yeah, just have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I love that you are here. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.